Yo. It's a Thursday afternoon. The rain just passed by and the boys said, let's go catch some lobsters. We got about three weeks left in season. You know, got to get it while it's good. We got old Rick back in town. The boys are rigging up the tanks because we got limited time. A little room for air here, people. Derek brings the rain, but luckily it stopped. Black so. cloud's been following me. <laughs> get these tanks rigged up. That way, as soon as we get to the spot, Scuba Steve can do some scuba. In. Time to rip it. It's going to be a good day. Stay tuned for the action. Which way does this thing go again? <laughs> Uh, I think uh, on the bottom of the tank. Yeah. Navigating the Lake Focus sailboat mine. Very simple. Not hard. But fun. Hey, don't waste all your air before you get down there. Steve said we have to be out the inlet by five o'clock to get to the spot and be able to burn a full tank. Right now, 4.46, we're ahead of schedule. We're gonna beat it by 10 minutes. Gonna be good to go. No excuses. 4.54, we're ahead of schedule, baby. Oh yeah. Gotta be beautiful out here. Ten out of ten. You can see the antennas from the boat. I swear. Freaking made it. Five fourteen. Wow. Look how clear that is. Insane. Ten out of ten day. I am stoked. Let's get in. see down here and what we already pointed out from up on the boat the water is absolutely immaculate perfect visibility it just makes lobstering that much more fun you really have the opportunity to venture out a little bit farther cover more ground and you don't have to worry about losing your partner so take advantage of those crystal clear days because they make for some epic epic diving Strolled up to our first lobster that we saw down here. Tried to get that snare around him while he was kind of perched outside of the rock, but he was not having it and shot back in immediately. When that happens, I usually go to plan B, which is shove your hand in the hole, see if you can get your hands around his knuckles. So I'm wiggling around, finally get a grip on him and try to pull him out. I guess I didn't have good enough grip because he shot off. Luckily for me, Derek was sitting there in the right spot and snagged him before he could shoot off again. Unfortunately, this one ended up being short, so we had to let him go and move on to the next one. The boys are working on one together. It's hard to see, but they're pointing right at each other. All the little bubbles coming up in one spot, flag not moving. That's how they, you know that they found them. Might have to jump in and take a look real quick. Boat ain't gonna drift very far. Terrible practice, people. Don't do that at home.
have no idea what it was about this day, but the trigger fish were awful. They were swarming us at every turn. Every time we'd have a lobster in our hand, there'd be one trying to pick off a limb like you have here. I feel bad for the lobster because I was trying to let him go. But I guess the trigger fish got a free snack. We ended up coming across quite a bit of lobsters today, but man, a lot of them were just too small, like this guy here. It's always an internal battle that you have in your head when you're down there, because you can come up on a rock with a bunch of lobsters on it, but if all of them are short, you're kind of wasting your time. You've only got, you know, about 45 minutes to an hour on a tank and the depth that we're in, so really gotta pick and choose your battles and see which ones you want to go after. Legit see them from the top right now. Means that they're stopped working on one. We'll see what happens. It's starting to move now. Hopefully they caught them. Look at this freaking visibility. Are you kidding me? These are our other friends that like to come hang out with us while we're lobstering. These red grouper are fearless, man. They'll just come square you up and be like, you sharing the lobster, bro? Again with these dang triggers, go away. I was able to shake this one, luckily, and keep all the limbs on this lobster but barely. thing that you will quickly realize when picking out your dive gear is that all gauges are definitely not created equal. The bright orange one that I have I know is pretty much right on the dot at three inches uh, but still on these two lobsters it was super close and I wanted a second opinion from Derek so I hand them over to him. They end up being no good on his silver gauge and I knew we had a couple close ones. I didn't want to bring any more up on the boat that we're, we're you know we're gonna have to double triple quadruple check these before we bring them home. You don't want to be playing guessing games. It doesn't happen often, but if FWC ever did pull you over, you want to know exactly what you have in your cooler. So, just another lesson to keep in mind.
608 now the boys been down for about what is that 40 minutes they got another 20 or so left on the tank they'll be good to go so hopefully they're getting them sometimes when they're down that long they didn't get them but I got a feeling that they got a good amount in the bag I've seen them stop a lot of times so we'll get back to you here shortly I'm so bored up here the water's crystal clear flat calm and I'm not in the water what is wrong? What is wrong with me? This picture is wrong. Should have anchored the boat and got in, but not gonna make that mistake tomorrow. Conditions should be similar in the morning. We're gonna be hitting it again. Should be unreal. Derek and I were both running pretty low on air. Only had a couple minutes left when we came across this last rock. And a pretty sweet sight. Usually the lobsters are tucked up under there. You only get some antennas, but when every single one of them is sitting perched outside of it, really cool to see. I was getting kind of bummed because I knew we had to go up and didn't think we'd have enough time to pick through all these. But they ended up being short, so felt a little bit better. Even though we came across a billion shorts, didn't end up getting our limit. Still, beautiful day, 10 out of 10 dive, and can't wait to get out there again. Such an epic experience.
Boy's got a few. Yeah, I was waiting. <laughs> Steven's sitting there on like six or so. I'm like, look at me, dude. <laughs> look at me. <laughs> oh, man. This is beautiful out here. All right, my guess is going to be 14 keepers. Yeah. Some are close, we'll remeasure, but you know. Hey, not a terrible day at all. No. Like this one. You kidding me for a Thursday? Yeah. Let's see him. For sure. Yep. Short. Shorty. See you later. We'll keep shorts on this vessel. He's good. Yeah, that one's gonna be good. Yeah, solid. I forgot one glove is nice. Two is better. Yeah, zero is no good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Derek's got zero. What are you talking about? Easy as that. Delicious tail. Ended up with nine. You want me to poop? Nine, nine. Maybe. Feeling fine. I got the glove, so I could probably ring a little bit easier than you. I'm pooping. Yeah. <laughs> you got to poop? I'm a pooper. These, all these lobsters have to poop real bad, that's for sure. Man, this guy's halfway there. Yeah, he is. Oh, he's a softy, huh? Yep. He's all busted up top. Pull that extra oh, shell yeah, off. Yeah. There you go. That one done? He's ready to go. Oh, man. there it was. Stop. New shell. Like that. that one done? Yeah. This one? This one's done. done uh, well, Not man, pooped. Like, I haven't pooped any. Look at this. Soft. Yeah, man. Look at that. Sorry, dude. Lobster fried rice. Recipe as old as time. Got the Blackstone ripping. Yeah, it might be a little too hot. We got brown butter, son. Piping hot with our butter. We, we toned it down a little bit. We're not quite prepared for our ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my hand's on fire. All right, we're ready for rice. Only the best. Ben's right. original, and it's ready. We're just really lazy right now. We want to make fried rice, but didn't want to actually cook the rice and everything else. So got the ready fried rice, gonna throw it on the Blackstone with some butter, some eggs, some garlic, some Japanese barbecue, some soy sauce, and then we'll get these lobsters on there. Lobster fried rice is on the menu tonight, boy. Let's hit it. Getting started. Bag numero uno. Got two more bags to go. This is the cheap man's version of fried rice. Oh, rice popping, man. It's actually very simple, too. Jumping beans. Slaved all day over a crock pot, prepping up this rice. You would have had to if we didn't have Uncle Ben to thank. <laughs> One of my favorite people. Oh, the veggies are already mixed in there, too. What a treat. Yes, sir. Get some of that butter on there, huh? Needs it. Oh yeah. Should have worked at Makoto's, brother. <laughs> Where's my little hat? I need to flip the shrimp up in there. We don't even have shrimp. That's how you know that we're amateurs. <laughs> what are you going with first? A little garlic action. Okay. Get down with that. Just, you know, season her up a little bit. Get some flavor in there. The Japanese don't use garlic, but us Americans do. Well, we're just gonna empty that out. Little flavor. Uh, next, this stuff. First time trying it. Big fan. Japanese barbecue sauce. This stuff is delicious. Dousing it. Oh yeah. Dousing it. Send it. Oh yeah. There we go. A little bit of soy. Oh yeah. Get that, man. Get that estrogen, folks. There we go. Wow. How are we looking? Looking good. I think we're ready to see a Japanese egg roll. <laughs> oh, we're missing the volcano. Yeah. Forgot the onions. <laughs> Classic. I, well, don't even need that light. I forgot the onions like an idiot. But, hey, we're making do without. It's okay. The onions always for show anyways, not for taste. Just to go choo choo choo. <laughs> Spreading it all out. Getting it frying. We're not sure how this bag rice is gonna turn out. Might be a little soupy, but. Not a dang clue. 
I thought we were gonna extra fry it. Alright. How does this work? You spin them on here? <laughs> Japanese egg roll! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> what do they do? Let them cook for a little bit or you just crack them? Just crack them. Just sit up there. One. Two, got a shell in there. Eggs on the griddle, baby. Fried rice frying. I hope we got an umbrella over here. I'm doing knots. Uh-oh. Keep them away. This way, this we way. got a no butter zone over this here. <laughs> they definitely got to keep them We this got a side. travesty. I forgot <laughs> to butter the right side of the black stone. It happens. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, we salvaged most of this egg. What do we got down here? Hey, what are you doing? It's got to be so hot back there. Get down. Oh, that's going to be fun later. Yeah, that's a later problem. <laughs> it's a later no, it problem. Just mixes in and greases up anyways. Head Chef and Makoto's, if you need one, or Benihana's, contact the Boca Bros. I'm open on the weekends. And Fridays. And Fridays. I guess Friday is the weekend nowadays. Wow, you're fixing your problem. <laughs> Look at that, it just <laughs> disappears. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's get this all area nice and lathered up. Gotta grease them up for those bugs. And bugs. Lobster's coming on next. Hibachi has to be like one of the worst things for you ever. Oh God, man. It's so delicious. About two sticks of butter so far into this night. And you hear a nice crackle. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Time to fry these suckers up. It won't take long. About three, four minutes each side. And we'll dice them up. We'll get them added to here. Just need to get this a little bit more crispy. Got this side on high, this side on medium low. This blackstone gets so freaking hot. But boy, is this about to be a meal. And we're not even gonna lie. For those of you that watched our last video, we cooked the crustinis tonight as well. <laughs> that was our appetizer. So if you haven't seen that video and you wanna see the best sourdough usage ever, and the best lobster appetizer that we've ever made. Go back and watch that last video. It's gonna be phenomenal. That's strong too, because if you recall the lobster poppers that we made a few weeks ago. Wow. Those were up there too. Those things were. Are we the appetizer kings? We might be the lobster appetizer <laughs> gods. So, go check out that video. We're cooking our main course now, and things are coming along very nicely. What you got there, Steve? Oh, got a little a voodoo ranger here. Sweating my ass off in front of this blackstone, so I need to take cool. We're trying to get freaked up. Refreshing break. Freaked up on a Wednesday. These things are like nine percent. Dogs are having a heyday out here with the rice that Steve's slinging. <laughs> They're <laughs> popping off that thing, man. I can't <laughs> help it. It's also falling off my spatula. So. I like the popping off. <laughs> Excuse better. Here you go, Hibachi Lord. This is the right way to do this, but hey, seems to me like it's working fine. They cut right on the deck, do they? Yeah, okay. perfect. Played up. Wow, that looks so good. A healthy portion of lobster oh, yeah. on top. Oh my money! Look, Dude, that, that is gonna be <laughs> so good. I'm tired. I'm hot. Sweating. But this made it all worth it. Can't wait to dig in. Wow. Got our fried rice with fresh lobster. About to be so good. Time to eat. Me? Nope, that's me. Alright, here you go, Steve. Give it a shot. Wow, wait. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. Shoot. I think we got plenty of barbecue sauce in there. Wow, I just cheated. That's really good. <laughs> just a little bit, Watching huh? the figure this year. <laughs> oh, yeah. All this butter will definitely be good for that. Yeah, it's healthy fats. Just like an avocado. 
First bite. Come on, get the lobster. Yep. Pretty much as advertised, baby. That's what I do. Give it a ranking. Gosh, I mean, eight, seven. Wow. Easy. So good. Lobster's amazing. Rice is crispy. Barbecue sauce is amazing. All just great flavors. High eights. Who didn't finish? Steve. Bing bong. Bing bong. <laughs>